Hey everyone, my name is Mohamed Karta. In this video, we are going to talking about how did I make this uh, rocking chair. And uh, so, for our project uh, that all we know is heavy rain, I wanted to add some variation to it, maybe a little bit, a little bit creative. So, except our heavy rain screenshot, I, I spent some time on searching on internet all of the stuff to finding some some stuff that become you know a little bit uh, like a real life so I found this chair in here and then I thought that why not we can use it in our balcony so I searched on the internet and found this as you see in here and how did I model it I Export. I uh, import this picture to Maya because in this picture, as you see, we have the flow of how this chair is. You know, this part. And um, yeah, this is the chair. As you see, I went to front view. I used a uh, bezier, something like this one, and went like, let me do it, something like that, like this. Okay? And then did a swap on it. You can find it in here. We have soup, a swoop mesh. If we click it, we can, for example, do a line, something like that, or a rectangle, and for example, three in here, like that. Okay, that was the whole idea. I've made let me uncomment. I made this part first. Then I made this part. And it was my references. I put them in here. Like this. Okay. And where I wanted to see, I saw it like that. This part, this part, and all of that. Okay. And uh, for this flow. I use this picture. Where was it? Like this, okay. And yeah. So then because uh, our environment in heavy rain, we have s so much things to model and this is a This is a personal project and as you can see we have a lot of things that we have to model. It's not one or two to say okay I have a ton of time to spend on just one one chair like this. I just wanted to put it in the balcony because for example the character wants to sit in here and enjoy the weather, okay? And that's it and I put it one in here and as you can see the quality is good but I didn't spend time on make it uh, low poly this is high poly but it's not so high these parts are high as you can see it's uh, 300 so what could we do if we had more time if I had more time if I wanted to use to spend more time on this chair, I would. Uh, I just want to describe it. I don't want to exactly doing it. I would. Uh, no, let me. I would copy it like that and say, okay, what do we have in here? I would delete these parts. I um, would go in here, select delete, and delete, delete, delete. As you see, like this. Okay part and this so this is cool again here one two three four 
these are extra edges we don't need it and we are done okay so then I would make this part smooth and I put it on for example this is cherry rocking for example high and I'll have to copy it like that and put it in here and make it low okay so for example this is the low version of the of this part of our model again we have to do it for this this and all of this and delete all of them then put it in marmoset tool bag and uh, start baking then we have normal map and it's more efficient to use it but I didn't do that because I didn't want to spend too much time it just took uh, took some uh, one or two hours I don't remember for modeling and I didn't even spend time on using this uh, in an efficient way let me, let me show you here I just did an uh, automatic UV and you and unfold it and orient and lay out it like that and that's it because if I wanted to spend a uh, time on UV in this part high poly low poly all of that it takes time this is personal project and we have to take care of our uh, our time and this is a more like um, experiencing thing I've done a lot of things of low poly high poly and you uh, and good UV and all of that so I didn't want to spend any time on it then uh, what did I do after I modeled this part I didn't want to uh, it's just wood as you see there is no other texture that we can apply for it for example there is no plastic or there is no metal for this chair I did a Lambert on it and that's it then I export it to Unreal Engine let me show you let me open it up okay so this is our chair this is our automatic UV on Maya and automatic UV for our light map and that's it there is nothing too fancy too big so then I put this chair to use it in here and in here and for our uh, material I used the material that I used for my dresser and drawer or my bed you can see where is it let me okay this is our material and I open it you see it's wood one wood 001 and for our drawer this is our texture one texture and use it multiple times so how did I change the color because the power of shader I could change the color for example if I turn it off you can see it become like the rest I change it manipulate it a little bit with these colors and all of that or or for whatever reason if your UV didn't work good you can uh, use world texture align I was described it in other my last my old my previous videos and the result becomes like this then I started to think no it's not the best but it UV is better and that's it when you when the character is playing in here it looks really really great in a small amount of time we modeled a chair and automatic UV and 
uh, same texture to be used in here we applied it and we are good to go so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it see you on the next video